He was good at it. He was fond of it. He played for his high school. And he knew that cricket was his calling. But his life was set for another inning. The inning which has been all about making some stunning seminal contributions in the field of life sciences. I had you know, two options, either to become a uh, cricketer or turn towards uh, a, a somewhat academic uh, career. Born on January 26, 1963 in Vadodara, Satyajit's parents always believed that children should explore new ideas. We had a huge library at home and my father always uh, was uh, keen that we uh, explore the world of ideas and, um, and he uh, uh, somehow made being at home uh, you know, much more pleasurable than going to school. Uh, so if, if anybody should be blamed, I think it, you know, it was uh, my parents who encouraged us to think uh, and school was somewhat of a distraction. Uh, we had a, a extremely inspirational and excitable biology teacher, uh, C.M. George, who quite, uh, you know, I, I guess unknown to himself as well, was inspiring all of us to explore different aspects of biology, you know, quite outside the textbook. So he just exposed a world uh, to me that um, I felt uh, was just leaping out uh, at me, wanting to uh, be, uh, exp uh, wanting to be addressed, uh, and quite different from the dry kind of text that we have in our textbooks today. While pursuing his degree in mechanical engineering at IIT Bombay, his life took another crucial turn. It was due to his professor at the IIT. His interest in life sciences got rekindled. Um, and by this time, I had already started reading uh, quite extensively about the life sciences. Uh, in fact, my interest in the life sciences had uh, come from my school days when you know, I began to then think about the life sciences as a way of being able to study engineering uh, sciences simply because you know, I felt that if, you know, if we could engineer something, life has also engineered uh, you know, so many aspects of the living and living and environment that, that how nature uh, engineers materials uh, is, is something that would be an appropriate way to uh, engage on, on a journey of discovery. Determined to pursue his passion in life sciences, young Satyajit Mayer wrote to Rockefeller University and to his surprise, he received a feedback asking him to meet the Rockefeller scholar who was visiting New Delhi. So this is Professor Zanville Cohn, uh, who um, in fact is a very major uh, figure in the life sciences. In New York, he worked with Professor George Cross and he studied the biosynthesis of GPI anchors in the African sleeping sickness parasite. He then moved to the Department of Pathology at Columbia University to study endocytic trafficking of lipids and proteins, which laid the foundation of his further work. In 1996, Mayer decided to return to India and join the National Center for Biological Sciences, that is NCBS in Bangalore. Today, he is also heading the Institute of Stem Cell Biology and regenerative medicine, which has a focus on the study of stem cell and regenerative biology. At NCBS, he has taken a multidisciplinary approach, combining cell biology with physics and chemistry to study the organization and endocytic trafficking of transmembrane and lipid-anchored proteins in membranes of living cells. Today, his lab is engrossed in nurturing promising young talents across the globe who wants to study the endocytic trafficking and membrane structure. Not just the students, but his work has been attracting eminent scientists from manifold streams to collaborate with him. Well, uh, I've known Jitu now for well over 20 years. 
despite being you know, such a wonderful scientist, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't weigh that down at all. He's just absolutely informal and comfortable talking to people across the board. He's also very consultative. He's, he doesn't, uh, uh, almost to a fault sometimes, he, ta he takes his time, he talks to people, he tries to understand their points of view and really you know, tries to engage people in uh, what he does and what he sees as the best things for the Institute. Since that time, we've started collaborating on multiple projects. We've had joint students. And it's been a real pleasure learning about biology through the eyes of somebody who knows so much about how cells work. It's not often that you find a biologist who um, has a broad outlook, you know, goes beyond mere biology to look at other branches of sciences and uh, in our engagements we've been looking at physics, at chemistry, at information sciences more recently uh, and it's been a great uh, journey together. Besides science, Mayer has always been interested in various artistic aspects of life. I'm absolutely uh, an avid reader and I read broadly, widely. I love fiction, I love literature. I'm an atheist. Uh, you know, but I, I'm you know, somebody who, who believes that, you know, that we can understand the world around us. I'm also passionate about music. I just absolutely love uh, uh, listening to all kinds of music. Wilder's dream would be to have a holiday where I can just go off and just watch birds, uh, listen, to, uh, listen to nature and just uh, have literally no cares. The best place that I'd like to be for a vacation is where I can be with my family, uh, be you know, with them and all of us being in a space where we're, we're being able to talk to each other and are relaxed. A successful person is somebody who can be happy in themselves and also who can spread that sense of well-being and happiness to others and um, that's very difficult to define. Uh, there's so much humor, which is about, uh, you know, uh, well, I... <laughs> Life uh, itself, uh, to me, is fascinating. I mean, how, how a cell, for example, is alive. To me, there's nothing more fascinating than being able to understand that very fundamental aspect of life. His wife, Aisha, and son, Ishar, have been his great support and strength in this journey. Um, I think we shared an interest in the arts and in reading and uh, we lived in New York and for many years and then we got married. So, you know, I think then our life just unfolded uh, and it became a continuum of... I mean, Jitu loves good food but he's also not very fussy in the sense that he doesn't demand that he should have certain things or he should have... Uh, particular kinds of foods. Uh, I don't share uh, much interest in sports, especially cricket. Today, his seminal work and the vision has been setting up and surpassing new boundaries in the field of life sciences. H.K. Ferodia Foundation believes that his work has been paving the way for a number of youngsters from across the country who want to pursue their ultimate passion that is science.